all right what's up guys we are back with another scooter video for the old scooty gang uh sorry just trying different outro intros here all right so last time i made a video on this thing we dropped the little air scoop on it um i did order a 171 kit i ordered an exhaust i ordered a bunch of other stuff so i have a 28 millimeter slide carb coming in um i also have the 171 kit coming in with the forged piston um today we're going to be installing the apparently the only cooling fan that actually works so this cooling fan comes from unique scooter parts shout out to those guys um, i will link this cooling fan in the description below it looks like it's the fan it comes with some hardware um i'm hoping i don't have to use that because i don't really like allen key uh bolts so we were gonna we're gonna dive right into it i already cracked the case loose or the uh plastic cover loose which is just this bolt here and then there's another one down there now if you have the full shroud kit on you're gonna have to remove the screw here and the screw there um, we'll go ahead and take these screws off and drop that puppy there this one down here kind of hard to get in there and show you guys there's that one and just go ahead and pull this whole shroud off I still have the main vent tube up here like I said I did order new plastics so that'll be coming so I'll have all new and everything so I can just swap the scoop over with next we're gonna tackle this right here this is what we're swapping out this white fan for the black fan now apparently the blade design on this black fan is different and it's supposed to help actually cool the motor better whether or not it actually works i'm not sure but apparently it does um looks like so these two outside bolts if i didn't mention is an eight millimeter i want to say the fan bolts are eights as well they are these are eight, eight millimeters as well i'm probably going to reuse these four eight millimeter bolts for that fan so i don't have to mess with the allen key bolts so it's pretty simple it shouldn't move at all on you um go ahead i'm just using a small little small ratchet don't need anything crazy for this crack that one loose that one loose that one's on there pretty good Let's set you down for a second and break the rest of them loose All right, so with all of them loose, you just go ahead, pull the bolts out, like so. And if you're like me and you just drove this thing home, the bolts are probably hot. So uh, you might wanna go ahead and let it cool down a little bit first. It's not terribly hot, but it's hot enough that you don't wanna keep holding on to it for too long. And for anybody wondering, that's your your flywheel behind it is your stator and that is your stator pickup i did buy a new stator um i don't think i'm gonna install it yet because i'm still charging at around 13 volts 12 8 12 9 is what the battery is currently sitting at right now on the voltmeter so i'm not gonna really mess with that right now um just want to try to see, get this fan in there um try to get some of these parts on i also bought the magnetic drain plug for that one that one and both uh the transmission drain plugs as well for the magnetics for a magnetic drain plug setup um that is from primo i will I'll, I'll make a separate video on that when i install it because i'm not gonna drain the oil out since i just did the oil change on it recently 
when I'm about to do a 170 swap. So when I do the 170 swap, obviously I'm gonna have to sw swap the oils for the break-in. Now first, let's do a first look here. So we can see that it's definitely a different design. It seems like this black one though might be a little bit smaller or it could just be the ring itself. The fan setup's not bad. Let's see mounting. Mounting, it looks like it mounts right up. Looks pretty good. Uh, let's check width on it. Go ahead and knock this screw up before I lose it. Width looks about the same. Now if you actually look, I'm trying to put these together better for you guys. The fans actually go in a different direction. The OEM style, which is the white fan, the fan blades point away from me. And the black one that's supposed to cool better points to me. So maybe that has something to do with aerodynamic design. I'm not sure. All I know is this is supposed to cool better than the OEM fan. So we're going to find out. And I did notice, if you look, there's no center. It's all open in the middle. So open center, not open center. It's kind of nice because you can see the nut that way. And the holes do indeed line up pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and hand start the screws a while and uh, get back up here and see what's going on. Okay, so we got the, the fan the fan on, hand tight. I mean, it does look pretty cool. I mean, I would think the bigger fan, though, would cool better. But maybe that's not the design here. Maybe the design's actually a better... I'm not sure. But uh, apparently this is supposed to keep it cooler. It does look like it has a little bit more of an aggressive fan arch on it compared to this one but it could just be the color the contrasting too from it being black versus being white but yeah that's pretty much all you're gonna have to really do to install this fan um, it's pretty much all eights uh, the, these bolts don't have to be that tight just a little over hand tight just enough to snug them on because it's not really going anywhere. If you want, you can use blue Loctite on them to lock them in place. Because if, if you know about how these shiny scooters work, it seems like everything wants to shake and rattle off of them. Um, I haven't placed an order yet for the shocks, but like I said, I did get the exhaust. I got the 171 kit with the slide carb. I also got the NCY uh, bearing throttle grips. Um, Along with a few other things like a GY6 glass, uh, the GY6 uh, glass fuel filter to get rid of the, the plastic one. Um, all new Helix lines that are see-through, so they're going to be two different colors. One will be fuel, one will be vacuum. Um, the carb comes with the Unipod filter, of course. Um, it's probably just going to shoot straight forward. Well, no, it's going to come out back here, so it's going to come somewhere in here. I thought about grabbing the um, the Nibby cold air intake, which actually mounts to the CVT case, one of the one of the bolts out there. Um, but we'll get more into that when I actually get the kit. I got the kit from Rolling Wrench, so it's the Forge kit. And from what I'm hearing, is apparently Tata supplies Rolling Wrench with the uh, Pro Pro Build uh, Forge 171 kits or the Forge kits for him. Um, we'll find out. I'm actually very interested to see how that's going to go install wise. I mean, it's pretty much a simple install But definitely going to start getting into that and then after I do that Get the exhaust on get it jetted right get it running good. That's when I'm gonna end up running into the transmission kit. I did talk to Riviera motorcycles who deals with a lot of these uh, uh, fan, uh, Vento Phantom style scooters and he's gonna end up he has a bunch of these body panels coming in in gloss black i did free spray this so it's a little bit 
better looking but even that was not perfect i tried smoothing out the body panels and there's still like you can see in here maybe you can see like there's like grooves in the body and stuff i mean it's plastic so i can't be too mad but yeah so that's going to be coming in the future that's supposed to come in three days so working my way up the exhaust is supposed to be here today i was going to slap it on but i'm worried that the carb is not set up good enough for an aftermarket exhaust and that's going to ride it's going to drive like crap and it drives pretty good the way it is right now so i don't want to ruin that just throw an exhaust on when i'm getting the 171 kit by this weekend if you know what i mean but that's going to be it for the cooling fan install basically all you gotta do like i said you can if you're if you're feeling nervous about it you can put some blue loctite on the beginning of the bolts hand hand start them you put them down a little over hand tight and then you go ahead and put your two eight millimeter fan shroud screws in you could loctite those if you want and then like i said you can keep the fan scoop on it as it's pretty much one of the same things and if you are not running plastics run plastics the plastics keep it cool as part of what helps this work better if it does actually work the way it says it does um that's going to be it for this video i will link this in the description below and i'll keep you guys updated on the build process for this this thing has so with the Glocksel um top end kit the Glocksel is just an oem 150 rebuild it's not a 160 it's not a 170 just an oem rebuild um i think it has like an a9 cam that's about it but the thing i got is literally it's just um it's a whole package so it's the forged piston high flow high flow heads uh it has the cam package um i even opted out for the best carb you could have the cool see-through um carb bowl so you can see the fuel i'll have a see-through glass um, fuel filter see-through line so i'll be able to see the whole fuel setup if anything does happen that i need to check and see if it is actually getting fuel or not um, but i'll let you guys know how the progress goes apparently the kit is pretty jetted well or pre-jetted well so it sh i should be able to just drop it in and actually drive it the way it is now i'm gonna have to be careful with it for the, uh, the first couple hundred miles because it will still be breaking in do a couple heat cycles on it and then i'll try to get some pulls on it i haven't even messed with the cvt yet which is still the glocksel variator a glocksel a35 2030 belt uh stock clutch uh, with 13 gram rollers and right now i can hit about 55 reliably and if i push it and hold it wide open throttle like and really try to arch into it i can the highest i've hit was 64 so let's see what happens if i throw a little bit more power at it if i can hit that speed faster or not i did grab a gates a gates um power link belt an a35 2030 gates power link belt but i'll install that once we get all this other stuff going because i've been noticing lately i'm not sure if it's clutch slide or if it's belt slide but it gets a little rough when i start taking off so i'm assuming it's either one of those it's something slide in there and it's not actually grabbing I'm assuming it might either be the clutch since it's this thing's at about 6,900 miles, 7,000 miles. But we'll find out then. But if you want to see more videos on the scooter, on the scooter build, subscribe to the channel because I got way more coming for this thing. Um, if you like what you saw so far, go ahead, leave a like. Don't forget to leave a like. And um, yeah, go ahead and share this out if you want. Help grow the channel because uh, I'm definitely trying to build this little gy6 up and see what we can get out of it and definitely swap the shocks because the yellow's got to go all right thanks for watching guys peace